Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 9 of the Garden of Eden. Now, today in episode 9 of the Garden of Eden, your host, James Eden, who is YouTube's fastest rising internet wrestling community, star, who, who is the saviour of the internet wrestling community, is going to predict the Great American Bash 2008, which which has James Eden like a like a little ten year old WWE mark over the thought of this pay per view. Anyway, even though James Eden has a sore throat and as you can hear from my voice, shouldn't be making videos even though I have a sore throat, I'm still going to review the to predict the Great American Bash. Now, before you ask, that is coke. It's not, it's not, it's not diet coke or coke zero as John Cheese and Dark Mall drink. Because, let's face it, the only people who drink coke zero are diabetic homos. Or, and I don't mean homos in, a, in that sort of way, just, just diabetic idiots, such as, John Cheese and Dark Mall. Those fuck Coke Zero. Anyway, I'm going to talk about the Great American Bash. And what a great card this is. First of all, we have John Cena versus JBL in a New York City parking lot brawl. I mean, did you see, did you see Cena's promo on Raw last night? I mean, it was, it was, it had me, it had me in the edge of my seat. And I'd be looking forward to this match at the Great American Bash so much. And since I, since James Eden has became a mark again, the WWE, I, I mark out for Cena every time he comes out now. Every Cena match is a joy to watch. Now James Eden is a mark. So that's all, all you smart idiots should do the same and become a mark again. But anyway, this match is, is going to rule. A parking lot brawl between two of the best brawlers of all time, John Cena and JBL. And um, of course, John Cena is going to kick JBL is asking this much. We wait and see. So yeah, that match will rule. And Dave Eden will be at the edge of his seat going, Cena, Cena, Cena. And I don't care, I don't care who, who disrespects me for this. Who disrespects me for being, for being a true WWE fan. But that's just the way James Eden is. Anyway, John Cena will win this match. And it will rule. Now, another, another big match on the pay-per-view is Shawn Michaels versus Chris Jericho. And their feud, their feud has been feud of the year. It, it, it's just been... I mean, I just can't wait to see them two get at it at the Great American Bash. And of course, Y2J is going to get a clean victory over Shawn Michaels. Because he deserves it for being such a great heel. But once again, James Eden will be there, uh, watching it live on my TV, and enjoying the show. Which, which is why you buy pay-per-views. You don't buy it to watch some bullshit finish like Booker vs. Joe. That's not why you buy pay-per-views. But yeah, that match will rule. Chris Jericho will win. So, John Cena and Chris Jericho will win. Anyway, we have a... The match... The match James Eden is least looking forward to. Hold on a minute. Natalia Neidhart versus Michelle McCool for the first WWE Divas Championship. And like all Diva matches, it will suck balls. But I expect 
Michelle McCool to get the win for for her hard work on SmackDown over the last few years. For being SmackDown's only you know, SmackDown's most hardest working diva. So Michelle McCool to win that match in a bullshit match. And then we have Mark Henry versus Tommy Dreamer for the EW title. And James I mean, come on we have we have Mark Henry. We have Mark Henry ruling, leading a show, and and he sucks. And we have the possibility of Tommy Dreamer leading a show. I mean, make it be an extreme rules match, and make Dreamer kick Henry's ass, and then then maybe we can take him seriously as a champion. But if Dreamer if Dreamer wins this match clean, a clean singles match pins Henry. ECW is going to go even more downhill, and Dreamer deserves that. He does deserve the title, and I will be cheering him on fully to get him out and bash. But Dreamer leading ECW, it won't work. So Mark Henry to win. Anyway, on to the match. Work. Whenever Batista Spear came, whenever Batista, I'm talking about CM Punk versus Batista, by the way. Whenever, whenever Batista Spear came. Everyone thought, oh no, Batista's getting another title shot. And, of course, they all bitched about Batista. And, fair enough, Batista does suck. Well, he's over. He's over, I'll give him that. But he does suck. But, this match, this match will be a good match. And Punk, Punk will get the win with a GTS. I'll be fully behind Punk. But, this, this match... This match will prove the haters wrong. And it will prove the doubters who said Punk didn't deserve the title wrong. So it's, it's set to be a great match. With CM Punk winning. Anyway, the last match. The last match of the night. And... What looks like the best match? Well, I already, besides the parking lot brawling, Shawn Michaels versus Chris Jericho, I'm looking forward to this match. Now, you already know James Eaton's attitude on this match. You already know that I would be fully behind edge to, to spear the shit out of Triple H. One, two, three. You all know that this is what I want to happen. But, even if it doesn't, the match will rule. So, I am really looking forward to this pay-per-view. And this is one of the main reasons why. Triple H... No, no, James Eaton. James Eaton is, is an edge head. Triple H... Triple H to lose. Edge to win. So, I would think that... Dreamer will beat Henry. No, Henry will beat Dreamer. Michelle McCool will beat Natalya. Cena will kick Javier's ass and beat him. Chris Jericho will beat Shawn Michaels. Batista will lose and get beat by CM Punk. And Edge will beat Triple H for the WWE title. Because I am an Edge head. But, anyway, like I said, this pay-per-view will rule a lot... A lot more than TNA Victory Road. It's got all this star power and the amazing build up. It's going to be great. And there's nothing you WWE haters can do about it. Anyway, this is James Eden. The Garden of Eden, episode 9, where I predicted the results in the upcoming and amazing looking. Green American Bash 2008 pay-per-view. So this has been James Eden. And this, this is Coke, not Coke Zero, or Diet Coke, Coke. And it rules. Garden of Eden, episode 9.